One of the worst acts of animal cruelty in the world takes place in the town of Medina Celi in the Spanish province of Soria, where the bulls are tortured to death, dying slowly and in great agony. bullfight, the animals are subjected to medieval methods of torture. However, the suffering of the animals begins long before they enter the arena. The bulls are deprived of water and food, kept in the dark, and subjected to painful procedures to weaken them for the upcoming fight. The bullfight itself consists of three phases and lasts a total of 20 minutes. Shortly before the bull is released into the arena, the picadors damage the bull's neck muscles in order to weaken him and prevent him from being able to lift his head. During the time in the arena, the animal loses its strength. The spears which are rammed into his body result in great loss of blood. Finally, 
The animal is killed with a dagger thrust to the throat. If the bull has shown itself to be particularly aggressive or has survived an unusual length of time, it is dragged around the ring by horses. Hello. First of all, I would like to start to appeal to all the foreigners, please don't visit Portugal and Spain as a protest while bullfighting is not abolished and buried. The slaughter that is done to the bulls is not accepted by any means. Be aware that there are conscious people in these two very old countries. And tradition is not an excuse for such repulsive acts of bloody slaughter and murder of the animals. Remember, some of your money goes for the slaughter. The bullfighting moves millions of euros every year, just here in Portugal. Is a machine that has deputies, or should I call them puppets, uh, that work for them. Some of your money, when you visit Portugal, goes straight into their pockets, the machine, the bullfighting machine. The Portuguese rider that support and like bullfighting. One more book for the Portuguese riders. Antonio Logan Tunes. Está aqui. A Spanish writer that supports bullfighting too. A deputy, Portuguese deputy that supports, that defends bullfighting. Last but not least, the, nat uh, the national television, the Portuguese national television, supports bullfighting. Please, don't visit Portugal and Spain. Thank you. Tyver, der står derude på 555 kilo. Han skal dø nu. I think that, that anyone would agree that this isn't anything even remotely like a fair fight. You have one defenseless, 
badly wounded, suffering, and terrified animal against an entire team of armed men. They're constantly on it. Yes, and they torment it and torture it. You can see them bleeding from their mouth. They don't want me to see that. Probably some people will use the excuse of tradition uh, to defend this this hideous and indefensible act. But this isn't tradition. This is pathological cruelty and barbarism that's simply gone on for far too long. Since this is a tradition, quote unquote, that takes place in Catholic countries, uh, we've asked the Pope to please speak out against this and he ignores this, he ignores us. He's an old father, isn't he? Yes, <laughs> yes, actually he is. Poland Pony can say all he wants about this being an art form. If this is an art form, Coleman Cooney, Coleman Cooney is one very sick man. He's trying to make him get up just so they can get just a little more mileage out of this animal. And they actually break the animal's tail. There. Oh no, I think yes. I'm not buying it. Yes, to, to make him to make him move. So they're trying to break they, really hurt the bull to, to get it up and fight to, some to more. To make him get up and fight some more, yes. Okay, they had they are so tight pool. As I said on at the at T V clip, you know. Oh. Okay. The biggest way sound here always did it. He's gonna cut off his ear. He's gonna what? Cut off his ear. I wanna cut off his ear. They always do this, they cut off the animal's ears. Still alive. <laughs> How could anyone be so cruel to an innocent, healing, defenseless being? This gets famous since this week now. <clears throat> that is sick. Handing it to little children. What is this teaching children about decency and compassion? We're almost fighting about that stupid ear. Well, for hell this guy, man, hey, I so give it to burn. Det er kraft, det der er med inden. Ja, det er godt nok. Lige nu har vi jo fat i så de hører, hvad, hvad er det der egentlig for noget?
are the Cavaleiros, the Matadors, as well as the Furcados. The frontman provokes the ball into a charge to perform a face-to-face -face catch. The principal performer who works the capes and comes dangerously close but graceful to the ball. Fighting on foot is the most thrilling, skilled, mind over animal performance experience in a bullfighting arena. The matador's cape work is followed so close by the bull and the enthusiastically silent spectators. This style of bullfighting that is practiced here in Ontario allows the Portuguese Canadian people to enjoy and share their heritage and culture.
Thank <laughs> you.